Hey folks, my name is Freddy, and in this video we're going to install this original accessory armrest in my Zoe. This is a quick guide how to do it, and it's suitable for cars made in 2019 and onwards. If you're considering to get your hands on one of these, you should check the screen for part numbers. There is three different types to choose from. There is the one like I chose with artificial leather, it looks like this, really nice quality and there is black cloth and there is uh, recycled cloth something i think i'm not really sure included in this kit however is some rivets and an instruction manual how to make your car amazing so to make this possible this installation we're gonna need some tools we need a uh, rivet popping make it happener. We need a drill with a 4.2 millimeter drill. And we'll go to, um, go to further depth with this uh, later on in the video. And we need a simple Torx 20 screwdriver. And the first thing we're going to do is to pull our front seats all the way to the front, because we want some really nice space to work on. There we go. We're just going to remove this. And there is one on the other side as well. Let's remove that one as well. And then we're just going to slide this new one. See here is top. I'm just going to slide this over the old plastic. We're going to reuse the old screws. Make sure it's in position. There we go. one we don't need to tension these too hard it says four newton meters now we're going to drill four small holes two on each side before we get into the drilling part we need to straighten out two things first the first thing is in the instructions it says that we need to use a drill that is 4.2 millimeter the thing is if we measure the rivets they are four millimeters, so I guess that's why it says 4.2 millimeter drill, but we're going to use a four millimeter drill instead. And the other thing is, how far do we need to drill? Well, this information is also included in the instructions, and the instruction says five millimeters, so that's what we're going for. To make this 100%, we're going to measure this up with some tape. And that's the last one. That's one. And four. Let's find out how it looks and feels. So how does it feel? And it's really great actually. The only th thing I have to complain about is if you put some pressure on it, it's 
a little wobbly and you can maybe see that it's moving just slightly it's not much but it's it's noticeable if you're really picky about things but overall it's really great actually and if you enjoy this video hit that like button and if you're into more car repairs fault finding and fun stuff with me you should consider subscribing now go out to your garage or your workshop and make an impact <laughs>